Hello, today I'd like to show you how I do um, one of the stitches that I use in Red Work Stitchery. I'm going to show you today a daisy stitch, uh, which is fun. I learned this stitch as a child. I used to do little lazy daisies and, and things like that, although not necessarily so lazy. So today I've just got a sample here that I'm going to show you on. And I've got my stabilizer on the back of my fabric. I've got a, a water erasable marking pen in case I want to mark a design, my scissors, my um, stranded cotton, and I usually use two strands of cotton when I'm doing this sort of stitchery. So I'm just going to show you how to do the daisy stitch. So as you can see, you can make a little daisy, uh, but I'll just show you the single stitch because you can use it singly as well as in a daisy form. So I've brought my needle up and I usually just start with a little knot on the back and I put my needle back down in very close to where that thread has come up in the first place. And then it depends a little bit how big you want your stitch to be, but it's probably about a three eighths of an inch distance from where I've gone in to bring the needle back out again. Now you want your thread to be sitting around behind where the needle is going to come up because you want it to form a loop around that thread. And you're going to pull that up. Now don't pull it too tight because it'll pull into a straight line and won't be very attractive. And then you're going to pop your needle back down just the other side of where you've where it's already coming out so that it's going the other side of your loop so that it will hold it in place. So we'll just do that again. We'll bring the needle up. Thread away from you. Needle back down in pointing away from you. Very close to where you came up in the first place depending on the size of embroidery you're doing, but I'm going at about 3 eighths of an inch distance between where my needle's gone in and come out, keeping that thread so that it sits behind, and then just pulling, just gently tug that till it sits comfortably with a nice loop, and then pop your needle down. This is very like a chain stitch. Pop your needle down the other side, but it's just a single one rather than continuing on in a chain. Okay, so we'll just do one more just to show you. So you can see you could use this as well as being for a little daisy, maybe little separate leaves or separate petals on different flowers. So needle up, thread away from you, bring the needle round, pointing away from you, put the needle in very close to where your thread was, approximately three eighths of an inch away, bring your needle back up again, pull it through, and just gently tug till that sits in a nice shaped loop and then pop your needle down just the other side of your loop so that it holds it in place. So there is the daisy stitch. Um, I have a stitch guide available as a free download on my website gourmetquilter.com so you can just go and uh, download that and print that off anytime if you'd like to. That shows you some of the stitches that I commonly use when I'm doing red work or some other simple embroidery. Um, and I, now I'll show you a quilt where I've used the daisy stitch not so much as a daisy but as little uh, single units um, on a bunch of flowers, a basket of flowers. So this is a quilt that I've made. This is called That Stitched Quilt, which I have a pattern for. And it's just a, a heap of different little pictures that I've incorporated in with some patchwork in a quilt. But if we look at this one here, the little basket of flowers, you can see that I have used on some of these stems here where I've got little things that look a little bit like leaves, they're actually single daisy stitch um, sewn in as leaves to make it look a little bit leafy, I guess. Um, so in case you're interested in the pattern, the pattern is called That Stitch Quilt and it's available to purchase and download on my site on gourmetquilter.com. Um, but I just thought it would be quite fun just to show you how to do the stitch. These stitches are very versatile. You could do all sorts of things. It doesn't, of course, have to be for red work. It can be for any type of embroidery. Thank you.